Okay, great. Here we go. So today's training is going to be on the debtor manager tool. And to get there, you go to tools and debtor manager. Okay. All right. So then what we're going to do is if there is a specific debtor that you would like to link to another account or a debtor that you are a, a co-debtor that you would like to link or unlink, you're just going to type their name in this box and it will auto populate with debtors that are already in your system. So we'll go ahead and select this one here. And what this does is it brings up the debtor details. So as you can see we've got the address, we've got his phone numbers here, we've got the social security number which is how accounts are linked is based on social security number. And you can see you can see here there are four accounts that this particular debtor with this social is is linked with. Okay, so it looks like this debtor is primary on two accounts and co-debtor on two accounts as well. Okay, so because it is a, a primary debtor here, we would not be able to, to do much with this. Um, there is no link to be broken. However, as a co-debtor, you can click on this link here. And do you see how that pop-up comes up? And it says unlink. Uh, unlink as co-debtor on account. So all that does is it removes them from the co-debtor on the account. Okay. okay, any questions on those functions so far? No. Okay. So if we come down here and we want to link account, we can then search by last name here. And we'll go ahead and click search. And it brings up a list of accounts in our system that are possibilities to link to. Okay, so here we have two different options. You can link the debtor to the account as the primary debtor, or you can link this debtor to the account as the co-debtor. Okay, any questions on that? No. Okay, so this this training is just to briefly go over this um, these functions here. Um, this tool is primarily used to A, see accounts that are linked, B, link accounts, and C, link co-debtors to accounts. Any questions at all about how to link accounts, how to break a link? No. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's this is really the the extent of this particular training. This is just to kind of go over some basic functions and make sure that you're more familiar with the range of tools that we have to offer. So this definitely can come in handy um, if you if you are needing to link or unlink accounts. Um, if you do have any questions about this tool um, in using it and working with it, feel free to give us a call. You can also submit a help desk request through Help and Help Desk, and we'll be happy to help you with anything that you have. Thank you so much. Um, no ex excuse me, may I ask a question? Definitely. I I um I entered the call late. So okay. is there a chance to um, redo this uh, training video on my behalf? Sure, not a problem. Okay, um, thank you. I can over it again real quick, but then also I will, I can distribute the video um, afterwards because we are recording. So um, let me grab your PIN number really quick so I make sure that I send that to you. Sure, it's 326. Perfect. Okay. All right, so quickly, I'll just go over this one more time, and uh, that'll probably be beneficial for everybody, just so that we uh, make sure that we're, we're, we're really grasping this concept. Um, so what I did here, I'll just go out and go back in. We're going to go to Tools, and then Debtor Manager. Okay, so then what we do is type in a name that we want to link or unlink, and we're going to go ahead and choose this one here. And then what this does is it brings up all of the debtor details. We've got address, 
we've got a phone number, we've got a social security number, it even shows you the balance due and the number of accounts that, are, that this particular debtor is associated with. Ah, okay. Okay. So then down here you can see all of the account numbers and the client names, the status, the balance due, and the debtor type. So primary, um, you cannot unlink because there has to be a primary debtor on the account. However, co-debtor, you can unlink by clicking this broken chain, and that pops up and says unlink as co-debtor on account. So if you were to click that, they would, there would be a, no longer be a link between the primary and the co-debtor. I see. Okay. Okay. So then if we come down here, we want to actually link accounts rather than unlink the account. We can type in, we can type in another name and click search. And then that will bring up all of the options that we have for this particular last name. And what you can do is you can either set this Barry Jones as primary on the account, or you can set him as a co-letter on the account. Okay. All right, and that's really the extent of this tool. This training is really just to get you familiar with some of the, the tools that we offer. Fantastic. That's great. All right. Well, I will go ahead and make sure that this gets sent out to you um, and anyone else that uh, that also joined our call, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for, for redoing that for me. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. Not a problem. I really think it's probably beneficial for everybody, so that's not an issue. <laughs> okay. Have a great day. All right. You too. Heather. So Bye-bye. Yes. Heather. Hello. Hi. So one more yes. question. Um, where, it, where could I find... Um, upcoming training uh, sessions? Sure. So we're actually going to have them every Monday this month at the same time. And you can just go ahead and click the same link that you clicked to, to join this training. Um, and so every Monday at 10 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time, you can just log into that and we'll have a training going. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Thanks. Were there any other questions? All right, I'll go ahead and end the training and get a copy to anyone that gave me their PIN number. We hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you for using Simplicity.